we close back tonight. Right, tonight we're back with Ubuntu 1104. Now, if you may have noticed, I haven't done one of these before on 11.04, not the release, anyway. For the simple reason, I like to download it and get all the updates and see how they've sorted it out and what things are wrong and what things are right. So, what I've done for a start is removed all their rubbish out of my bar. This is the thing, it's your bar, you put in it what you want. Now, all the people saying, oh, I hate Unity, I hate Unity, bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. I was with you when you was all saying that. I was actually with you saying, oh, I hate it. Now, actually, now I've actually customised it how I look, how I like to, to look and stuff like I've got, I still kept the home folder and Firefox, but I put Midori in because I like using Midori, and I've got Chromium in stuff because I do some Gmail stuff from there and stuff like that. And I play my games on my uh, web based games on Chromium. But then I'll put, I'll call my desktop, Avademux, GIMP, Audacity, VLC, Mix for mixing my tracks, Banshee. Now, whether that was a good idea to change to Banshee, I don't know. And plus all the ins and outs going about the funding and stuff like that, I don't know either. But Pigeon's there, all there too. Has all the extra stuff, so I can do my stuff for Twitter and stuff like that. AMSN, I've got down here, because all my kids use AMSN on the Linux, Linux, Linux machines to do their chatting stuff and all their smileys and stuff that I don't do, basically. Skype, I do use. Terminal's still there, Ubuntu software still is still there, Ubuntu One is still there, and all the others are down the bottom. Now once I customised it to my own approach and thought about it a little bit, it ain't too bad really. It's quite easy to use. Some actions need more clicks than you was used to if you're using GNOME. Sometimes when you're using GNOME, you got so used to doing it. I mean, GNOME, the basic GNOME that we was using has been around for nearly eight years, let's be really honest. And so we all got used to it. It's like uh, Windows XP users. You got so used to XP, when Vista come along, bloody hell, what a change. And they all like, kicked up a stink about it. Nothing happened, of course, because uh, Bill said no. He's, that's his best word. Uh, uh, Bill says no. Bill says no. Anyway, we're the fox. And see where we go. Now, of course, this is my homepage, because BBC, UK, and stuff like that. And of course, it doesn't say nothing about Linux. Even if I went to the news page, I'll show you. <sighs> Quite depressing, really. And I go to technology. If you watch the program on that, which is called Click, it's a once a week program. It's a really good program for IT and well, not so much IT, more for technology. But I don't know how to use Linux at the end of the day. They ain't got a clue what's happening, and they don't really want to know because they don't use anything to do with Linux. Okay. They do use, shall we say, Android. And that's the only one, isn't it, really? Yeah, anyway, so we'll talk about it. Anyway, about Firefox in Unity. And normally you could click here and you could do stuff, couldn't you? All right, that's all been now been moved to the top bar where the file edit view in history is. Before it would have been here, wouldn't it? So what you've got to do is get used to certain things that have changed using Unity. All right. It's... <sighs> Use it for a couple of hours and you'll be okay. It's all right. It's not too bad. If you don't like it, just go back to GNOME or KDE or Zubuntu. Now I can see a lot of people going over to Zubuntu on this one because XFCE 4.8 is really, really nice. And I've got a video in the line ready to show you. Right, one of the big things for me is this. Okay. I use OpenShot for my videos. So, okay. Open Shot. Nothing there for the simple reason it's disappeared. Well, it's still there. I've got the PPA in my things, but it just ain't happening. But on the other hand, if I go to media apps, like I suppose fix you, no, 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 we're looking for Caden Live. Here it is. Caden Live's there, and that works, but it will not let me put it in the bar over here. Also, I can't put some other apps in the bar over here. They just, just don't want to know how to go to that bar. <sighs> but this is why I leave it a couple of weeks before I do a review on Ubuntu when it first releases. Normally, I don't even download it for a month. I just leave it to update everything, and then off we go. But I've done it a bit quicker just to put people at ease with Unity. It ain't too bad, really. Play with it for a couple of hours. It's not too bad. 
but if you're a power user or you like using computers a lot you ain't gonna like it if you're a new user you're gonna love it now sneaky girl's having this on her computer tomorrow she's gonna install it herself because she does that now she's been doing it for years and years and years doing stuff computers with me she's gonna install it herself and she's gonna little do a little video for you so you can see a teenager's point of view basically yeah a teenager's She's 12, 10, 13, yeah, she's getting that age now. Anyway, horrible age for girls, anyway. And boys, kill them all, yeah. Anyway, that's my little opinion of Unity, really, because this is what this video is about. It's not about Ubuntu, it's more about Unity. It's all right once you get used to it, it's all right. Just give it an hour or so, it's easy. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later.